Hey everybody and welcome to another edition, another video review. And although this review is going to be a little different in the sense that I'm not actually going to unbox or bust this baby out of the packaging. I just acquired Kingpin today. So this video is more of a comparison, more of a throwback, flashback kind of, uh, uh, kind of comparison to the uh, original Toy Biz 1995, 1994, Spider-Man Animated Series 1994, Spider-Man Animated Series Kingpin from the cartoon back on Fox Kids compared to Hasbro's re-release from the same concept type of cartoon and animated series. So just on the packaging alone, it's very similar, but of course you can see the sizing, the scale is completely different. Man, the figures and the toys that I grew up having versus the ones that kids get to have today. But I don't know. I have this saying that kids don't deserve these figures. These are these are just to admire and view and put up for display and, you know, have as a nostalgic purposes and whatnot. Same thing for these, but I don't know. It's like they just don't make them like they used to anymore, man. Like, like fuck, like, look how badass this kingpin looks. And just on the comparison of the card itself, they still have the same purple midnight kind of dark violet effect. Spider-Man in the, in the red and yellow, Marvel Comics. Grabs and smash action, but of course there's no gimmick for these ones. They just completely changed the whole concept and approach for toys. Now you've got interchangeable heads. He's a little beat up there. He still has his cane right up here, and you can see how they pimp it out with uh, this little plastic quartz it looks a little warped in the packaging but that's cool i'm not going to take it out and of course they detail his suit just a little bit more versus the original release he still has his cane there and they still pimp it out with a little plastic quartz it looks cool look at that i don't know let's see what's is there a little size comparison yeah this yeah it's a little different i was thinking i could probably use this pin for that one but who am i kidding i'm not even gonna fucking open this one but the side of the panel here, the card, you still got the same orange and uh, character picture, character product shot right there, Kingpin. This one, he's got more of his hand open, as you can tell. This one, he's grabbing his little pimp cane right there, his Kingpin cane. He's got the purple pant variant. He's got the blue pants variants right there. So got it's it's looking like a billboard sign there with the lights on showcasing. Yeah. There you go, you can see that. Mm -hmm. I put push them back a little bit more. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm not gonna bust this out like I said. I just want to look at it in all its awesome kingpin majesticness. Mm -hmm. so we could take a look at the back of the card here. And we can compare the difference in the waves and the characters. I got me a Spidey, I got me a Goblin, Gwen, Daredevil, and I just picked up an Electro. We did a review on Green Goblin already, so be sure to check that out. Just got me an Electro. I don't know if I want to open Electro. He looks badass in packaging too. And I was also saying during the Green Goblin review, I did not want to open this one. I precisely carefully open it up so I can repackage it and hang it back up but I was out of town the other day walked into a Walmart and BAM I fucking scored one so I got one closed one open to display so that's cool I got two Norman Osborns right there ready to go let's put them back I don't know I'm just not really impressed with this new Peter Parker uh, I, I, I don't know I just I prefer still the uh, original Peter Parker right there do I have one? I don't recall if I still have a Peter Parker or not. If I don't, shit, I'm probably going to have to rebuy one. But I do have a wall with a bunch of these old Spider-Man animated series figures. So yeah, we had plenty more characters back then. Is Hasbro going to give us the release of all these? Probably not. They are going to choose a select few. But uh, we never got a Mary Jane in the 90s version. At least I don't think so because I don't remember seeing her. And if we did, we saw her in a later in a later wave, a later release, but we do get a Gwen, Gwen Stacy here, and she does come with an interchangeable redhead feature there. So you got you got a blondie, and you got your redhead. So you can make her 
a Mary Jane and whatnot. So there's that. So we got some options there. But man. And then just comparing the bubble, comparing the character just in itself right there. You know, he's got the blue scarf. He's got a purple scarf with his little uh, purple suit. Uh, damn, I'm having a little brain fart right now. It's just the handkerchief or the thing that goes in the pocket of his jacket. Same thing there. He's got a black vest. He's got the orange vest. So there's a bit more of a contrast here. I, there's still both classic, awesome. Of course, there's much more articulation with this new kingpin. As you can tell, the elbows bend. There's a torso cut right there, so his upper chest moves. It shows, obviously, that he has no waist twist, so it's all from the upper body. The coat seems slightly pliable, so it doesn't get in the way with the rotation. Thigh cut, probably single-jointed knees. Looks like he's got... Uh, the ankle articulation side to side but I don't know soon enough in another video maybe we will open him up who knows but I am just glad to have a kingpin in hand before a lot of other people got them I posted it up on my social media and people were like whoa you already got a kingpin whoa he's out so some people who have pre-ordered him are expecting him sometime this week or this coming week and compared to the older kingpin well look See, there's no waist articulation, but you could tell you just twist his legs out to the side. <laughs> there's no lower torso. It's just one big old piece. His head's obscenely small for his body, but still, like, this is, it's, it's cartoonish. It's, this was a 90s toy. No articulation in the elbow. Just rolls up and down. No articulation in the ankle. But he does have that grab and smash, so apparently there is a flick right there. A little switch, little lever right there on the back of his neck you can tell that picks up the enemy or picks up or he is the enemy picks up uh the hero the anti-hero you think it's spider-man or daredevil places him on his hand flick the switch and bam tosses him looks even shows that he can kind of grab him but who knows we're not opening this baby up so that is the comparison my Hairs on my forearms and my body are standing up. I'm getting all these crazy chills of just how nostalgic and, oh man, like, the Kingpin is fucking awesome compared to the original Kingpin. But yes, maybe in another review you'll see somebody else bust him up, but I am an inbox collector and I'm not ready to bust his baby open. I am considering getting a second one just to have him displayed or soon enough when I have proper display placing like a shelf or something else i will make room for him probably open along with a few other spider-man legends i have but because i never wanted to go down the route of spider-man legends because i got a buttload of mcu and x-men and i have all the uh spider-man animated series figures so mainly i didn't want to go this route but oh man you just i couldn't I couldn't refuse this. I couldn't refuse the Green Goblin. I couldn't refuse the other Spider-Man retros that we got. So, really happy with this. I definitely recommend you get it because the pictures do it no justice. It's not until you actually feel it in hand that, damn, this is cool. And I've seen several reviews of the Build-A-Figure Kingpin. So, this is a re-release and a repaint from the... Uh, one of the first waves that came out was a Night Thrasher, Puma, uh, Red Goblin, a couple of other people that you had the Build-A-Figure Marvel Legends uh, series. And the articulation and the movement for that Kingpin wasn't all that great, so it almost turned me off a little bit to try and collect that wave because I really just did want a Kingpin figure. Lo and behold, this one comes out, and in packaging and whatnot, it does not, it does not disappoint. So... Hasbro's retro re-release of the Kingpin. Just based on this alone, I'm I'm giving it a I'm giving it a nine nine point two, kick ass figure. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Until the next one.